welcome to the Chef's Girl TV. Today we're making a traditional ragu a la bolognese. I can't take this if you're gonna cry in the back. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a ragu is, it's the sauce when you make spaghetti bolognese. It's quite a staple ingredient or the basis of a lot of Italian dishes like lasagna, arancini, <laughs> but before we get started, Chef Rigo is going to show us Who how is. to cut a onion because if you didn't see our mushroom risotto vlog, you would have seen that I have no idea how to cut an onion. So we're going to do a quick tutorial first. So first you have to follow the opposite way. Yeah. Yeah. Opposite side. Opposite yeah. And you cut it like that of the you only cut it with half you want. to about three quarters of the way. You don't go till the end, so it all stays nice together. There's no point in cutting it in this way because the onion has already has its layers. Yeah. So if a chef does something like that, it makes me very angry. <laughs> and after cut. you just follow and cut. Hey Chef Vigo, let's go through the ingredients for today. Uh, you have to get the rosemary stick. Okay, we're off to get the rosemary. <laughs> Amy! I gotta go get the rosemary, you're not allowed to come out. Look at our beautiful garden! So, the way we're gonna do the bolognese sauce today is gonna be a little bit different from what you know, but that's the traditional way that was in uh, Bologna. Bologna is a city in Emilia Romagna that Emilia Romagna where this sauce has been invented so that's why it's called salsa bolognese bolognese is a person that lives in Bologna wow. anyway so what we have is uh, 750 grams of uh, minced beef and 250 grams of uh, free-range pork uh, mince here we have 300 grams of uh, tomato paste 150 milliliters of uh, red wine salt and pepper we have one liter of milk milk okay so that's a different way usually instead of putting the tomato passata we put the milk and the tomato paste here we have uh, a small bunch of uh, celery one carrot and uh, one large onion all three diced uh, brunoise and here we have uh, too much rosemary <laughs> couple of tops are enough all right chef Rigo! I'm upset. Are you ready? I'm upset. Why? Because you play a Ah, the plan! I'm buying you rosemary! The best thing is to have two different pens. Just because I now have a lot of pens. So we have uh, the pan where we are gonna cook uh, for four hours the ragu with uh, three tablespoons of uh, oil where we are gonna put the veggies and fry them, okay? So we have the onion, the carrots, the celery and we're gonna leave it here until it gets nice uh, color So Chef Eagle's just chopped up the rosemary here. So, now in the second pan, we are gonna heat up the oil uh, very, very high. So maybe in two, three steps, we are gonna give a nice brown color to the meat. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is gonna give taste to the meat. Because if I put the meat straight away on the veggies, the meat is not gonna get a nice color like it should. So two pans, meat, veggies, mix all together, mix all together. Put the meat here, like that. Very nice hot. So we're gonna leave it like this so that the bottom gets a nice brown color. And then we're gonna break it up and then transfer it over into the pot. So we've only done half. And that's fine, we'll just do two rounds of this step and then it'll all eventually end up in this pot. This is uh, just up on the bottom of the side. Breaking it up. And, uh, and we 
heat up again this pan uh, with salt and we do the same again uh, with Round the other pan. Yeah. Yeah. the veggies uh, fry even more. So now that's the last quantity of uh, ragu cooking. So I'm gonna put the tomato paste here in the big pot. And The red wine on the hot pan that's so gonna deglaze everything and uh, evaporate the alcohol. And as soon as you don't test uh, or smell any more the alcohol here, you can uh, put all this mix in the So the alcohol is evaporated here, all this mix. Together, rosemary now, and we're gonna cover it in the Yeah. And now we're gonna leave it cook low. How say? Low, low heat. Low heat for easy four five hours. Four five hours. What are we gonna do in the meantime, Chef Rigo? I don't need them. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> we had our afternoon nap and let's see what Chef Rigo thinks about our goo. And that's how it looks after four hours cooking. You can see it's thicker and ready to wear a pasta. So we've just served the ragu with our homemade gnocchi that we made in our first vlog. And Chef Rigo's just added some fave, which are from my grandfather's, from my nonno's garden. So we have some vegetables. <laughs> and we're just gonna put some cheese on top. So you can use any pasta to serve with your ragu. It's just a really nice sauce, which is quite filling, and it's very delicious. If you enjoyed learning how to make ragu alla bolognese, Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram so you can stay up to date with all of our new content.